Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Fearless Thinking, a podcast designed to help you navigate authentic leadership and the entrepreneurial journey. I'm your host, Michael DeVu, and these are my thoughts, lessons, and insights from my entrepreneurial journey into coaching, workshops, motivational speaking, and of course, what I pick up from interviews with inspiring leaders and entrepreneurs along the way. My mission is to help people unlock their untapped potential by using fear as a catalyst for powerful change and growth so they can step into the greatest version of their most authentic selves. All right, let's get into some fearless thinking. All right, my fearless thinkers, welcome back to episode 16 of Fearless Thinking. I'm your host, Michael DeVu. This is episode 16, The Power of Curiosity. Uh, Yeah, if curiosity killed the cat, man, you know what? For entrepreneurs, it just gets us going. Like, it is the fuel and the juice, right? Uh, Today, we are diving into a quality that perhaps is um, underrated, you know, but incredibly powerful, and that's curiosity, right? So we've all heard the saying, oh, curiosity killed the cat. But let's be honest, right? That's, that's just a saying that's a total buzzkill. And I think it's, you know, one that was used to frighten children. You know, a lot of those things back then were used to frighten children. And I think that's terrible. Um, but curiosity is actually a key that unlocks a world of possibilities. You can't get innovative. You can't get creative. And you can't be the genius that you are without curiosity. Curiosity got you on this road, right? Curiosity got me on my road. Because uh, I was curious about finding out what fear was in my life and why I used it differently than everybody else did. And I thought, you know, I thought everybody did it like I did. And it was what led me to building my business around making fear your friend, right? And having podcasts where we talk about fear. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, think back to like a time, like, you know, when you met somebody at a party. Uh, did you immediately ask them, you know, what they did for a living? Well, yes, that's a common uh, starter for a conversation, you know, it just paints a limited picture, right? Well, curiosity is an opportunity to ask different questions and challenges us to go a little bit deeper. So like what if instead, you know, we led with a genuine, a genuine curiosity by asking the question about what are you passionate about? Hey, what drives you? Um, you know, like what, what's, tell me the last thing you did that really excited you, you know, in the world of business or life or your personal, whatever, you know, that's curiosity. I mean, the questions that we ask, you know, under those circumstances really can open the door to richer uh, connections with people and a deeper understanding of them. You know, I think that's important. It has to, it doesn't have to mean that you want to, right? You need to want to be curious. You need to want to care about what others say, do, think, and have on in their lives. And it's tough sometimes when you're an entrepreneur, uh, an aspiring leader, a mentor, there's so much going on in our heads. So many hats that we wear, you know, simultaneously and, and throughout our business models and our, and our lives that it's sometimes hard to be interested, to genuinely feel interested in what other people are saying um, when we're too busy problem solving. We're too busy cracking in code. We're too busy writing copy. We're too busy strategically thinking um, to, to take that, to pause our brain long enough to get curious about somebody else and what they have to offer. And by the way, if you do, if you can, remember the world just might be sending that person along to help you do a number of things. And one of them just might be to give your brain a break, to give your thinking a rest, (laughs) to think about something outside of yourself other than all the business things and strategies and methods and plans and money and finance that you have, you know, spinning around in that beautiful head of yours. Maybe they're just there to help you take a small break, like on a park bench on a beautiful summer day and just take in the breeze and the view. Right. Um, and, and secondarily, maybe they're there to like drop a nugget of gem of like brilliance. Maybe they just, you know, have something to offer you hadn't thought of yet. And you might be, I don't know, because you're too busy. You might be dismissing that opportunity. So don't do that. You know, fuel your growth. Curiosity can fuel growth, right? And I think being genuinely interested and curious about things can fuel a, a genuine excitement for things. You know, I've always been fascinated by people and their stories. That's why I do the podcasts, you know, um, their motivations and their dreams. I'm fascinated about how they got where they are, especially where 
between fear uh, at the at the intersection of fear and their innovation, in the intersection of fear in their lives and their journey as business people. You know, the curiosity, this curiosity fueled my desire to understand human behavior, which ultimately did lead to my career, you know, in in building my consulting business and my workshops and my motivational speaking and my podcast. And now um, the Ascend Hub community, you know, where it just sort of gathers all those things together. It's the same curiosity that I see in most successful uh, entrepreneurs, leaders, and mentors, as well as team members. It's actual thirst for learning and a drive to explore new ideas. You know, humans are built to learn. We are designed to learn from the moment we get up, the moment we try to, even when we're, before we get on our two feet, curiosity about the world around us. Our little brains are figuring everything out, how to touch that thing, how to pick that thing up, how to walk, how to stumble and fall and get back up, how to ride that bicycle, how to do so many things. Could you I mean, just think for a second, all of the things a human learns how to do, it's because we're built to learn. We're always changing. 300 and some odd million cells every 20 minutes, constantly shifting and changing and dying and come bringing new ones on board so that we can adapt, adopt, and learn. We're built for it. Curiosity, man. It's what we're made to do. So, you know, curiosity has taken me across worlds, continents, exploring languages, uh, uh, oh gosh, careers, industry careers. I've had seven. I think in my lifetime, uh, it, it, the expanse of, of different things that I was interested in chasing down. It's also fueled my love for exploring new cultures and new cuisines. I mean, if you could see my stomach, you know I love my new my cuisine. <laughs> I'm not talking lean because we eat cuisines. There's nothing lean about the cuisines that I'm eating and enjoying and being curious about. Um, my sister, Phaedra, you know, she's a massive foodie just like me, and we love cooking together. We love making interesting things. That's her business now. She does uh, uh, foodie fay. She does uh, charcuterie boards and cheese boards and catering. And, and um, but she took her love and passion for food. She turned it into a business. But that's, you know, curiosity helps us discover the world around us, right? Find a deeper meaning and a deeper connection to the world around us and all the things that, that excite us, you know? Whether that's different types of TV shows, science fiction, reading, and books we want to get into. Whether that's museums and art. Whether that's science and discovering how things work, you know, or it's astrology in the universe and how it was built, or it's in the forest floors of fungi and mushrooms and how they grow. You name it. Get curious. Use that as your fuel. I love that. You know, if fear is, if fear is blocking you, if fear is coming up and it's, and, it's, and it's showcasing itself, get curious. Yeah, think about that for a second. If you get curious about why this fear is coming up, be like, Hmm, interesting that you've showed up at this particular moment, my friend, fear. What's going on here? What's happening with you? What's going on? You know, ask yourself, ask your fear, you know, get curious about that. Get curious about your fear and where it's coming from. You know, I'm curious. Curiosity has allowed me to connect with lots of different people from all walks of life. My Tika family in Costa Rica, my friends in Germany and in England and in France and Italy now, as well as in Mexico. Like I have. I love connecting with these people and I love knowing that I've made these connections with them. You know, um, it's also about caring, you know, not just about your own interests, but also about the people in the world around us. I think part of it is, you know, everybody wants to know that someone cares. Everybody wants to know that someone's interested. So maybe the trick is if you really want someone to be interested in you, be interested in them. As I always say, and I've heard it said a hundred thousand times, I'm sure from a lot of people, be more interested than interesting. Um, I think you're, you'll find that if you practice that art of being more interested in others, you can sit back and eventually the opportunity will come for you to be interesting. You know, people will find out, they'll ask questions and they'll get curious about you, right? So let's make curious uh, curiosity a priority today. Um, yeah. Fearless thinking. You got to get curious if you're going to think fearlessly. You can't not, you can't not think fearlessly and not be curious. Like that doesn't, you can't do those things. They go, to, they go hand in hand. They have to be there together, right? So think curiously <laughs> today. That's your challenge in addition to fearless 
thinking? You know, what have you been curious about that you haven't explored yet? What have you been curious about that you haven't chased down? Ask yourself some of those questions. Are there things you've been curious about that you've set off to the side? Maybe you've dismissed it outright or you just thought, eh, it's not worth my time or my effort. Maybe it's time you learned that new skill or take a deep dive into a specific topic or maybe just travel somewhere interesting, right? What truly matters to you? What are you passionate about? Dedicate some time to actually nurturing your curiosity and those interests, right? How can you cultivate um, a culture of curiosity in your work environment, your business environment, right? Friends and people and, and coworkers, they all need to be curious. And that's how innovation comes about. That's how creation comes about. That's how you get really great teams who encourage questions, exploration, open-minded discussions. That's progress, right? Yara Shahandi, Shahidi, sorry, Yara Shahidi, the star of Gronish, um, says this perfectly, chasing curiosity can help your purpose constantly unfold in front of you. Mm. I love that. My purpose is always unfolding in front of me because as I chase curiosity and I chase fearless thinking, um, my road is constantly being paved and opening up to, for me with my purpose ahead of me because of curiosity. It's through curiosity that we discover our passions and connect with others and we ultimately can find our place in the world. So fearless thinkers, Curiosity thinkers, let curiosity be your guide. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let curiosity be your guide today and for the rest of this week as well as the rest of your life. Ask questions, explore ideas, and embrace the joy of lifelong learning. As I said, we were born to learn, baby. Born to run. Remember, curiosity is not just for kids. It is the key to unlocking your full potential, you know, and living a truly fearless thinking life <laughs> okay you guys gonna have a fantastic day and a fantastic week and i will see you later do a little bit of curious thinking okay we'll see you later bye <laughs>